Girl turned into a ball, but the coach kicked it away. The boy turned into a puddle of melted ice cream. The coach didn't think it would help and put him in the attendant class. The rest of them, someone turned into a mouse. Someone turned into a six-armed man, and another turned into the coach himself. They were assigned to different classes. This boy spat on a pillar. The pillar was instantly corroded. He was assigned to the hero class. It was Wu's turn. He whispers to the coach that he has no powers. The coach thought it was a joke, so he puts a card down. Luckily, Wu reacted quickly, otherwise, the consequences would have been disastrous. The coach thought that if he didn't inherit his father's superpower, he'd have to fly like his mom. The coach pressed the switch. Wu was catapulted a few meters away. He hit the ground hard. This time, the coach was finally convinced that it didn't have superpowers. No doubt, he was assigned to the attendant class. Because it doesn't have superpowers, Wu gets bullied a lot. The dinner plate, hit Jacket Man. Jacket Man was angry. Ja this woman has only three fingers and one toe. The other women take off their shoes, showing their bare feet. The woman takes off her wig and plucked a worm from her head. She put it in her mouth. It turns out they were witches. They hate children. The woman on the stage is their leader. She decided to turn all children into mice. At that moment, one of the witches asked a question. The witch cast a spell. She burned the witch to ashes. Then she took out a potion. Just a drop of it would turn a child into a mouse. At that moment, the audience applauded. Suddenly, the witch found something. There was a child hiding under the stage. The witch sniffed with her big nose. She turned the stage upside down, but she didn't find anything. It turned out that the child had hidden in the air vent. And just as the child was about to be discovered, there was a knock at the door. It was a little boy. He came to ask the witch for candy. This child just ate the witch's chocolate. He's here for the rest of the candy. The robot is standing outside the bathroom with a crowbar. She opens the door. Inside is the mistress. The robot started hitting the woman with objects. The woman is finally dragged out. The robot stabbed the woman in the abdomen with the crowbar. The woman is killed. The boy was checking the robot's wiring. Saw the stun gun in the robot's hand. When the boy reached for it, the robot pushed him to the ground. Then it tasered the boy. The robot took the girl into the room and told her everything she had done. She wanted the girl to leave with her, but the girl refused. The girl lit in the pool. When she called the police, the robot shot her. The girl pretended to say yes to the robot, but the robot knocked her out. But the girl was pretending while the robot was dealing with the boy. The girl threw a bucket of water on the robot. Then she took a saw and destroyed the robot's wiring. The robot was destroyed. The girl helped the boy out of the room, but they found many of the same robots appeared in the yard. One of them raised a gun at them. Baby puts his hand in his mouth. Blow on it. His head puffed up like a balloon. When his mom found him, his head came back. This baby has superpowers. The puppy is outside the door with a toy to attract him. The baby crawled over and got the toy. When he got back, he realized it was a bomb. He snuffs it out and then mimics the sound of the explosion to get out of the way. The puppy thought he had succeeded. While he was having fun, a bone flew over. The dog ate it happily. Suddenly realized it was a bomb. He was blown to dust. His father was also fooled. He was very strong. He'd throw his dad around. When he peed, he would spray his urine very high. And he could separate it. Dad rushed to catch it with a cup. But he's still wet. Just when he thought the baby was done. Suddenly there was another big squirrel were celebrating in the square. The woman threw a shovel into the prison. The glasses man dug a hole and ran away. The prison inmates shouted. The villagers started chasing glasses man. The glasses man escaped to the roof of the house. At night, the fat man was counting gold coins in the house. He heard a commotion on the roof. He saw the glasses man, so he climbed up. The fat man took off the glasses of the glasses man. He wanted to push him down. At that moment, the woman arrived. The glasses man punched the fat man. The fat man couldn't stand still. He fell off the roof. The two escaped when no one was looking. A swarm of ants crawled to the fat man. The next day, the fat man was a pile of bones. And next to him was a pair of glasses. People mistook him for the man with the glasses. So the gallows were dismantled. The priest started drinking again. People started souping again. Life went back to the way it was. The glasses man and the woman left the village. For more full videos please visit my channel.